Everybody loved the Venoms, but in Hong Kong, they weren't that popular. In one of their films, Five Deadly Venoms, they hired Len Ting, the Wing Chun master, to help choreograph. But they slapped him in his face and told him Wing Chun was for girls. Everybody loved Bruce Lai. At one time, he was the biggest kung fu movie star in the world, but he used his own money to make a movie. It bombed. It went up in flames. His career was over. They wanted to use him in the movie Game of Death, and Samo's like, this dude is garbage. Get out of here. The next Bruce Lee imposter was Bruce La. He actually went to prison for eight years for real estate fraud. He was the master of copy and paste. He could make eight movies out of the same fight scenes. He even went to Hollywood back in the 1980s to try to make it, and they laughed him out of there. Then there is Korean martial artist Dragon Lee, the smartest of them all. Dragon Lee used his money to buy up real estate, so if you are staying in Korea, you're probably staying on one of his properties. His investments made him millions. Smart guy. The last of the Bruce Lee impersonators, Tae Kim Chung. He was in No Retreat, No Surrender. He was in Tower of Death, which was a really good movie. He died of stomach cancer. High levels of MSG in your diet cause stomach cancer. It is one of the leading causes of death in China. So back off the MSG.